and welcome to Lauren's English Corner. Today's lesson is a pronunciation and grammar lesson for all levels. We're going to look at irregular verbs. Now, in English, when we talk about the past, with most regular verbs, we just add ed. For example, watch, watched. I watch TV every day. Yesterday, I watched X Factor. But in English, we have a lot of verbs that do not follow the ED pattern, and these are called irregular verbs. In most grammar books, you will find a table of irregular verbs in the back, and they're usually split into three columns. The first column is the verb in the infinitive, which means the verb how we would use it in the present form. The second column is the past simple form of the verb. This is how we would use the word if we were talking about the past, a finished action. The third column is the past participle. This is the form of the verb that we use together with have. So for example, let's use the verb eat. So in the present form, the infinitive form, eat, we could say, every day I eat breakfast. If we wanted to talk about yesterday's breakfast, we would have to use the past form, which in this case is ate. Yesterday I ate cereal for breakfast. The third column is what we use with have to talk about something that started in the past and is still true or still continuing. We can also use it to talk about any experiences from our life if we don't mention when it happened. So for example, I have eaten ostrich. Okay, so that's enough of the grammar. We're not actually going to co cover the grammar today. We're really going to just practice the pronunciation of the different types of irregular verbs. All irregular verbs do not follow the same pattern and therefore they have to be learnt. Usually you'll find that in the grammar tables they put them in alphabetical order, starting from A through to Z. But this doesn't really help you learn the patterns. So I'm going to break them up into different groups. Each group follow the same pattern. We'll run through them all and then you can use this not only to practice the pronunciation but also to try and help you remember all the different irregular verb patterns. So let's start. Okay, so the first pattern. With some of the verbs, they do not change. They are the same, both in present, past simple and past participle. Let's go through them. Bet, 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 bet. Burst, 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 burst. Cost, 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 cost. Cut, 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 cut. Hit, 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 hit. Hurt, 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 hurt. Let, 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 let. Put, 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 put. Quit, 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 quit. Set, 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 set. Shut, 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 shut. Spread, 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 spread. Split, 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 split. Okay, our next pattern are ones that end E double L. The past simple and the past participle both are the same and they change from E double L to O L D. For example, sell, sell, sold, sold, tell, told, told. The next pattern. 
these ones, the present infinitive is the same as the past participle. We change to A in the past simple. Become, became, become. Come, came, come. Run, ran, run. The next pattern, these verbs which have an I in the infinitive, changes to U in the past. The past participle is also the same. Dig, dug, dug. Spin, spung, spung. Stick, stuck, stuck. Sting, stung, stung. In the next pattern, the present uses I, the past simple uses A, and the past participle uses U. Begin, began, begun. Drink, drank, drunk. Ring, rang, rung. Sing, sang, sung. Sink, sank, sunk. Swim, swam, swum. In this one, the past simple and the past participle are the same. In the present we use I, but in the past forms it's O-U. Bind, bound, bound. Find, found, found. Grind, ground, ground. Wind, wound, wound. In this next pattern, again, the past, past simple and the past participle both use the same form. Either O-U-G-H-T or A-U-G-H-T. For example, bring, brought, brought. Catch, caught, caught. Fight, fought, fought. Teach, taught, taught. Seek, sought, sought. In the next pattern, the spelling is the same. It uses E-A in all three forms, but the pronunciation is different. Deal, dealt, dealt. Hear, heard, heard. Mean, meant, meant. Read, Red, red. In the next pattern, in the present form, we use the long E sound, E. But in the past forms, we use the short E sound, E. Bleed, bled, bled. Feed, fed, fed. Feel, felt, felt. Keep, Kept, kept. Lead, led, led. Leap, leapt, leapt. Sleep, slept, slept. In this next pattern, the past simple becomes EW and the past participle OWN. Blow. Blue, blown. Grow, grew, grown. Fly, flew, flown. No, new, known. Throw, through, thrown. In the next pattern, the vowel changes to O in the past simple, and then we add an N sound to the past participle. Awake, awoke awoken. Break, broke, broken. Choose, chose, chosen. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Get, got, gotten. 
Speak, spoke, spoken. Wake, woke, woken. Wear, wore, worn. This next pattern sounds very similar. The past participle also has an N sound added to the end. But in this case, the present infinitive form is the same as the past participle form with the N sound added on. For example, bite, bit, bitten. Drive, drove, driven. Eat, ate, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Give, gave, given. Hide, hid, hidden. Ride, rode, ridden. Rise, rose, risen. See, saw, seen. Take, took, taken. Write, wrote, written. And finally, the ones that don't fit any of the patterns and these ones you just have to learn. For example, the verb to be. In the present, it can be am, is or are. In the past, was or were. And the past participle, been. The verb have. In the present, it's have or has. Past, had. Past participle, had. Do, did, done. Make, made, made. Go, went, gone. So that covers most of the irregular verbs. Please feel free to watch this as many times as you need to, to familiarise yourselves with the different patterns, to be able to practise the pronunciation and hopefully help you to remember the patterns of the irregular verbs. Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. In the comment box, feel free to put in any suggestions of classes that you'd like to see featured on Lauren's English Corner. Also, remember to check us out on Twitter and Facebook. See you next time on Lauren's English Corner. Goodbye.